Hello out there YouTube friends, I am Cindy and you are watching Sincerely Cindy Settle. This is the place to be for book reviews, unboxings, and clothing hauls. Today is a Thursday, so I have a book review of Layla by Colleen Hoover. I hope you'll stick around. Okay, so I am Cindy, so welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe, consider liking and sharing this video. Today we're gonna to do a review of Layla by Colleen Hoover. I apologize for not having the paperback with me. Um, I borrowed it from the library. So it had to go back. So anyway, I will leave a picture up here so that you know exactly what the cover looks like. But this is by Colleen Hoover. It is considered a paranormal romance. For me, um, now, if you guys have been watching me for a little while, you know that I am a fan of Colleen Hoover. I do like her work. Um, she used to be a one-click author for me. That has kind of changed a little bit as time has gone on. Um, there was one book of hers that was kind of like a, mm, and then I was kind of like, well, I'm not sure if I want her to be a one-click author anymore. So, I still have read, I think, just about everything of hers. There are a few out there that I have not gotten to yet, but... For the most part, I read hers, but not right when they release, but usually within the year that they release. So Layla is a paranormal romance. I did end up giving it a four star. Um, it wasn't one that was very emotionally wrenching or anything for me. There weren't those laugh out loud moments. There weren't really those crying moments or anything like that. It wasn't overly emotional. And I saved my, my five stars for those that are overly emotional or make me really think or things like that. So this one did end up being a four star, which I was kind of surprised by because it does have that paranormal element to it. And I'm not a huge fan of paranormal, but um, Colleen did it beautifully as I'm not surprised that she did it beautifully. But let me just tell you a little bit about the story. So the story follows Leeds and Layla. Um, they meet at a bed and breakfast um, at her sister's wedding. He's playing in a band. Um, she's dancing on the dance floor. He catches her, well, she catches his eye because she's a horrible dancer. Um, so they become involved. One night stand, it progresses. They end up in this relationship. There's a, a tragic event that occurs. Um, and then she, so she has a brain injury as a result of it. And her personality changes with good reason. So eight months later, um, the book is going back and forth from this interview process, which is current, and it's going back to the last several months, um, well, last eight months of their relationship. So we follow all of this in that present and past um viewpoints, which she does very well. You know exactly what's going on in the current and you know exactly, well, you don't really know exactly what's going on in the present. You're still kind of questioning exactly what's going on. Um, but at the very beginning, the first line, the first paragraphs, the first prologue just kind of leaves you, I want to know more. So as this interview is occurring, you want to know more. So the questions are being asked and then it goes back to okay, this is what happened, and then the question is being asked, and then this is what happened. So it's done very well in a chronological order, but it does have that present um, and past aspect to it. Um, so eventually, Leeds and Layla, they go back to the bed and breakfast that is now up for sale, so they have the place to themselves. Leeds um, has a good inheritance from his father, so he rents out the place for however long he needs to. Um, so she, <clears throat> Layla has some obvious memory loss. She's taking some medications. She has some anxiety. Um, she has some panic attacks. Um, but her memory loss is very spotty. So she remembers like general information, but she doesn't remember specifics to their relationship, it seems. So that's kind of questionable to him as to, well, why does she remember this but not that kind of thing. So Leeds ends up meeting Willow at this bed and breakfast um, and, and some strange things start happening. Well, I guess strange things start happening and then he meets Willow. 
Um, and it all kind of happens cohesively. Like you, the strange things start happening. You notice more consistent behavior changes with Layla and Leeds meets Willow. So there's kind of a, kind of a, let me give you just a trigger warning. So if you don't want to know anything about the book, then fast forward. But there is a cheating element to the book, but not really. So it's there, but then everything ties up at the end to where, well, maybe it's not really a cheating element. So, um, but everything is wrapped up very nicely. There is a happily ever after again. Um, and it's wrapped up in a way that is very believable if you believe in paranormal and that sort of thing. So I don't really know what else to say without giving um, spoilers, but um, it was a very intriguing read for me. Like I said, it was a four star read for me. Um, and let's go ahead and get right into my likes and my dislikes. So um, for Layla, um, I did like the paranormal aspects as it did offer some mystery to the story um, with the romance. So I would say that the paranormal is kind of sprinkled in. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of evenly done. The romance, well, and I'll get into that in just a second, but it does offer some mystery. So you're kind of questioning the strange things that are happening and you're questioning exactly what's going on in his relationships um, with Willow and with Layla. So it does offer a nice, unique um, twist and aspect to the story. So um, it starts off, like I said, it started off very strong and like you want to know what's going to happen next. And it continues that throughout the story. Um, so uh, and, uh, my second like is that it was very well written, as I'm not surprised with Colleen. Um, she is just a very gifted author and everything is very clear as to what's happening. You know exactly when it's the present. You know exactly when it's the past. Um, you know what's going on with each character until she doesn't want you to know <laughs> what's going on with each character. But that's very clear, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right. So, um, and that the other thing that I like, the third thing that I like is I did like the twist at the end. I was not expecting um, the twist. It was very well thought out. It was very well executed. It was very well written. Um, I knew exactly what was going on and I felt like it was believable. Like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. I understand how that could happen. All right, I see it. You know what I mean? Those kind of feelings are exactly what I was having as I was reading the last several chapters of the book. It just, it was very believable if you believe in the paranormal. So a couple things that I didn't like, and I'll say that there wasn't really anything that stood out to me as things that I didn't like. I was kind of in my mind trying to find things that I didn't like. Um, there were a lot of people out there um, who did not like Leeds, um, who is the um, hero in this story. But, you know, and I can understand why they wouldn't like him. I didn't really like him or dislike him. Would I say that he's my favorite book boyfriend? No. Um, but I wouldn't say that I necessarily disliked him. He was just kind of, I don't know. So anyway, so my dislikes. My first dislike um, there were times that it was a little slow for me, and I realized that Colleen was trying to build um, that secondary relationship within the story, um, but I was kind of ready for it to, I'm like, okay, we got this going, so let's move on. Let's keep going. Let's get some action. Let's get a twist. Let's get something new going on here. Um, it just seemed to be like it was more of the same, and I was ready for it to um, progress a little bit faster than what it did. Um, so Layla and Leeds, they meet, uh, like I said, at her sister's wedding and it was almost like that insta love, um, kind of relationship. It's like they met each other. They had a couple intimate moments. They had a one night stand and then it, that one night stand just turned into more. Um, and it was just, to me, it was unrealistic and 
unbelievable how quickly they became so close and so connected. So I found it hard to root for them in the story because I did not, I wasn't invested in their story. And I guess maybe had we seen more of that development of that part of the story, then maybe I would have been more invested, but you don't really see a whole lot of the development of their relationship aside from, I don't know, even like you see the first night, all of that's kind of detailed. And then it goes into a couple months later and you see a little bit into that. And then the tragic event occurs. So you don't really get to see the development of, their relationship quite as much as you get to see um, the relationship with Willow. So um, I did find the characters a little bit difficult to connect with in that respect um, because you did not really get any backstory for any of the characters with the exception of Leeds. You did have a little bit of backstory with him. You did hear a little bit about Layla's family, but it wasn't a lot of information or really know where she came from or what she did or anything like that. Um, I did feel like the characters were well developed, but yet we didn't need much of their backstory for this story to flow. But I felt like there was something missing in my connection to any of these characters. And that's probably why I didn't have much of an emotional connection to this story was because I didn't, I couldn't connect to any of the characters because I didn't feel like they were very relatable because we didn't know much about them. So those were some, th some things that I liked and disliked. Again, this was a four star read for me. Um, Colleen Hoover is typically um, a, a one click author for me. She'll probably, I'll still continue to read her. I did enjoy this one. It wasn't one that I was necessarily excited to pick up, but because of that paranorm, paranormal aspect of it, but I did really, really enjoy it. Again, I thought it was very well executed. I would recommend this book. Um, if you like romance, uh, that paranormal in there doesn't really, um, I don't know. It's just interesting. I would recommend that you read it and make your own opinions, decide what you like and dislike. And by the way, if you've read this book already, what did you like about it? And what did you not like? If you didn't like um, Leeds, why didn't you like him? What was it about him that made you like cringe whenever um, you think about him or when you were reading about him? So I'm interested to see what you guys think about this book as well as always. So let's get into quickly some um, music recommendations. So today, let's see, I didn't write them down. So today we listened to um, Rock Hard by Kiss. We also listened to um, You Can't Go Home by Bon Jovi and Our Lips Are Sealed by The Go-Go's. So some good music recommendations for you. Usually you'll find my 80s music in there and that's what you have today. So, um, oh, and I did also hear uh, this one popped in my head, Shameless by Garth Brooks. So there's a fourth recommendation for you. So we do have a couple genres in there of music. Recently, what have I been watching? So I just started watching Rain on Netflix and I have to say that I'm hooked. Um, my daughter told me that I needed to watch it. She said, Mommy, this reminds me of Bridgerton. You need to watch this. So I started watching it. It does have very Bridgerton um, vibes. I'm enjoying it. I'm like episode eight of season one. So if you've watched that one, let me know what you think. Um, I haven't really watched any movies lately. My husband and I finished up Manifest. Have you been watching Manifest? Have you finished Manifest? Are you pissed off that NBC has canceled Manifest? I mean, we need some outrage because if you've watched the last episode of season three and you're like, what the hell just happened? Where do we go from here? Now what? Because we have no ending. We have no ending. I mean, more cliffhangers. I want to know what happened to Flight 828. <gasps> Anyway, so we've wrapped that up. We've been trying to find season eight of Blacklist, and we can only find like the last five episodes of season eight. We can't find the first um, however many episodes. So we're waiting on that to come out on Netflix, and 
We are watching Clarice, which is a spinoff of Silence of the Lambs. It follows Clarice Starling um, the year after Silence of the Lambs. So a year after she does the Buffalo Bill, she catches Buffalo Bill, kills him, all that stuff. Sorry if you haven't watched Silence of the Lambs. Oh, warning. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so it follows her a year later and um, she's back in the field and we see some um, post-traumatic stress disorder, symptomology, and things like that. So it's been good so far. It hasn't been my favorite, but we are enjoying watching it together. So if you have any other recommendations of things that I like need to watch, like Aaron's not watching Rain with me. He wouldn't like it at all. Um, he has listened to a couple of my episodes and he's like, I cannot with their accents. So he's not watching it with me. But if you think of anything that I need to be watching or something that Aaron and I need to watch together, um, please let me know and put it down in the comments what your recommendations would be. I love hearing your music recommendations as well. What are you reading right now? What do you recommend that I read? Um, and what would you like to see in the future on my channel? I know that I do a lot more unboxings than I do book reviews. I just can't seem to keep up. Um, I can't read fast enough to keep the book reviews up and consistent on my channel. But I do have another book review to do for you. Um... The book was by Ree Warren. I can't quite remember the title right off the top of my head, but I do plan to do that review. And I'm currently reading a book by Shannon Davis called Worth the Risk. And I will do a review of that one as soon as it's finished. And I think that that's all that I have for you guys today. Again, I hope that you've enjoyed this content. And if you do, please consider subscribing, liking this video, commenting down below and sharing with your friends. As always, I enjoy having you here. I'm sincerely Cindy Settle. I'm signing out. Mwah.